Hi there, welcome to Abby's Den. I'm Abby. At the moment, I'm running a series of videos showing you how to make this wonderful waistcoat. We're heading into the spring, it's very soon, wedding season's coming up, and waistcoats are really popular and in demand. The pattern calls for interfacing. So, what's interfacing? It gives support and structure to your fabric. This, even though it's very thin, pieces are extremely thin, they will actually give some support to the patterns. Now, these all look the same, but on close-up, they actually all have different purposes. You get light. This one is a lightweight. And then we've got a medium. And then we've got a heavyweight. And then, on top of that, there's fusible and there's non-fusible. Fusible means it glues on, so, adhesive, and it glues onto the fabric. You see that shine? That's glue. You get glue, um, the glue also shows up in spots like this. So this one's quite a spotty one, um, where they just blob um, spots of glue on the fabric. I mean it's a thermoplastic and what a thermoplastic does is when you heat it up and you've got to heat it quite hot so you need a hot iron and um, when you heat it up it will melt and onto the fabric and this glue will become like a plastic film that sits on the inside of your fabric so it will give structure so it'll make it stand a lot better and you can see in the picture it stands a lot firmer rather than crumpled where it meets in the middle and that's what you want when you want formal wear you want certain parts like the collars to stand you want i've put some uh, so I've put some fusible interfacing on that to give it some structure or a sewing is not a thermoplastic sewings are used again for um, jackets and pants where you don't want to glue to a fabric because it will pucker the fabric it will it will it just doesn't look as good you don't want the fabric to have the shape but you want the garment itself to have shape so you would use a sewing do we pre-shrink do we pre-shrink stabilizers that's a question that no one ever asks well there's only a shrinkage of about one or two percent there's not much so it's tiny percent but if you are going to pre-shrink your fabric, pre-shrink your stabiliser. If you buy a substandard quality one, what might happen is you'll see yellowing. The plastic actually starts to go, the glue starts to go yellow. So don't buy uh, a cheap brand, you'll, you'll recognise that. Another thing, another recognisable uh, fact about a poor quality interfacing is um, when you press it onto your fabric, so even though we're not pressing it onto this, when you press it onto your fabric, your fabric buckles, it sort of bubbles up and you get all sorts of um, wrinkles on there. What's happened is that's shrunk. So you've, your interfacing has shrunk and it's caused ripples in your fabric. That's an ugly sight. So always test on a sample. As Right, you get lots of different types. Just very briefly, another uh, interfacing is stretch interfacing. Not a lot of people know about uh, stretch interfacing. So this is a fusible, so it's got spots of glue on there, but it has give. So when you're making something that stretches, if you make a dress on a bias and you want to give a little bit of structure to perhaps a feature on there, maybe you want to make some jersey wear that needs um, st some structure on there, then you can purchase a stretch bias, a stretch interfacing. I don't want you to confuse interfacing with things like this bundle web made by Vileen or this hemmer web, um, which I picked up in Ikea, I think I did. Um, all that is, is if I unravel some, is it's just glue. There's no fabric attached to it on either side. And the same with this bondle web. So when you peel the paper away, all you can see is a sheet of glue. That's all it is. There's no stabiliser to it. It's just a bit of um, glue plastic, as they might call it. Interfacing really is something to um, apply structure. 
So just grab a non-stretch fabric. It doesn't have to be chiffon. It can be anything of any weight. So calico will do. It just gives a bit of structure.